This video is on Poisson distribution. In today's video, we have to fit a Poisson distribution for the following data and calculate the expected frequencies. So here is the x values that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the frequencies are given as 109, 65, 22, 3 and 1. And now we have to find out the expected frequencies. For that, first of all, we have to calculate the mean value for that. See here, these are all for finding the mean, for finding the mean, so these are the x values, that is x, f of x. So these are all the frequencies and these are all the x values from the following data which is given in the question. See here, first this is x value and this is f of x. So if I add up all these, all the x values, that is sigma x, so this will be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5. The value here is... First of all, this is 5, 6 and this is 10. And if you see, if I add up all these frequencies, that is 109 plus 65 plus 22 plus 3 plus 1. So what is our value? This value is nothing but 200. And see x into f of x. If I multiply all these values, that is 0 into anything value here is 0. 1 into 65, this is 65. 2 into 22, that is 44. 3, 3 is the value here is 9, 4, 1 is 4. So, see here, if I add all these values, then this, if I add all these values, the value here is 122. And now, how to find out the mean? For mean, we have a formula that, see here, for finding the mean, we have a formula that sigma fi xi by, this is a sigma fi. So, mean value is equal to mean mu is equal to sigma fi into xi. So, this is the total that is 122. So, this is 122 by, see here. So, if I add these frequencies, the total frequency here is 200. So, the value here is 200. So, if I cancel this, the value will be 0 0.61. So, I got the value of mean value as 0 0.61. After getting the mean, so mean it is obviously mu or lambda. So, here lambda is equal to 0 0.61. So, this is how we have to find out the mean from the following data. And see, we have to fit the Poisson distribution for the following data and calculate the expected frequencies. Now, how to calculate the expected frequency? See here, what is given? The mean of the Poisson distribution is given as lambda is equal to 0 0.61. And hence, theoretically, the frequencies are given by n into p of x where x value is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, according to our Poisson distribution, we have a formula that P of x is equal to R is equal to E power minus lambda into lambda power R by R factorial. So, here N into P of x. See, what are the values of x? That is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And see, the formula here is N into P of x. P of x means Poisson distribution for x value is equal to 1. So, we have to consider r is equal to 0. So, in this if I keep lambda is equal to, see what is our lambda value? Lambda is equal to 0 0.61. So, n is equal to 200 e power minus lambda, lambda power 0 by 0 factorial for x is equal to 0. And see for r is equal to 1. So, here e power minus lambda, lambda power 1 by 1 factorial. So, for lambda is equal, for r is equal to 2, we have e power minus lambda, lambda power, lambda square by 2 factorial. Here, for x is equal to 3, e power minus lambda, lambda cube by 3 factorial. And for x is equal to 4, we have e power minus lambda, lambda power 4 by 4 factorial. So, in this, if I substitute where n is equal to 200, see here from the data we have n value is equal to, see here. So, from this data we have n is equal to, what is the value of n? It is 200, the total frequency. Now, we have to calculate this value. See, if I use this calci, then anything to the power of 0 is 1. And so, the value for this is minus 0 0.61. The first value here is, see here, the first value here is 
zero point five four three three into two hundred. So the value will be zero point eight point six seven zero one. And the next one here is e power minus zero point six one into this is zero point six one into zero point six one into two hundred. The value here is sixty six point. See here, this value is nothing but sixty six point two eight eight eight, and the next next value here is so this one, so that is e power minus zero point six one into see here, this is zero point six one square divided by two into two hundred, so this will be twenty point. See here. This is twenty point two one eight zero, and the next value here is cube. See here, that is e power minus zero point six one into zero point six one cube divided by three factorial is nothing but six into two hundred. The value here is see the next value here is four point one 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 zero one zero. So this is four point one 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 zero four zero, and this one, the final one here is this is e power minus zero point six one into this is zero point six one power four divided by four factorial is nothing but one into two into three into four, so which is equal to twenty four into two hundred. The expected frequency value is zero point six two. This is zero point six two six nine two nine, and see the approximate value for all these will be. See for one not eight point six, this can be written as a, this is one not nine. So this value is so this is below five. So this is sixty six, and this value is also twenty. So this is four, and this is nothing but zero point six two six nine. So approximately equal to zero point six three. See here, the values are very very clear, and this is approximately equal to one. Therefore, the expected uh, frequency values is the first one is one not nine. So this is one not nine, and the next one is sixty six. So this value is sixty six, and this value for x is equal to two. The value here is twenty. For x is equal to three. The value here is four, and for x is equal to r is equal to four, the value here is approximately equal to one. So these are the observed frequencies from the question, and these are the expected frequencies that is one not nine, sixty six, twenty one, and four. So this is the procedure to solve. See here, first of all, we have to fit a Poisson distribution for the following data and calculate the expected frequency. So from this data, we can easily find out the mean. So here we have to add up all these x values and again add up all these. Frequency values that is n is equal to two hundred here. So again we have to multiply x into f of x. And if I add all these, this is one twenty two. Now the mean value according to the formula is sigma f i x i. So the sigma value is one twenty two, and here sigma x f of x value is two hundred. That is one twenty two by two hundred. That is zero point six one. After getting the mean value, see here. After getting the mean value, the Theoretical frequencies are n into p of x. So this is the formula. What is p of x? It is nothing but the Poisson distribution. So n is equal to two hundred. So for x is equal to zero, one, two, three, and four. So we have to substitute the r values as zero, one, two, three, and four. And again we have to calculate and see approximate values are one not nine, sixty six, twenty four, and one. So according to our question so these are the observed frequencies and these are the expected frequencies thank you so much for watching and hope you all guys understand if you really understand please pass it on to your friends this is the most most important question and i'll be uploading many more uh, videos related to these series have a look at those and definitely it will be very helpful for your preparation thank you so much